Tender chunks of meat are sauteed together in a base gravy with stock, spices, potatoes, peas, carrots, and macaroni. This is comfort food at its best. Welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today I'm going to be making something that has been on my bucket list for a long time. We're going to be making a Goan beef and macaroni stew. This is a very simple home style recipe. The ingredients are all the same, but every Goan household makes it a little bit different. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to start boiling two cups of cubed potatoes in boiling salted water till they're about a halfway cooked. Once they're half cooked, I'm just going to keep these aside. Next, in the boiling water, I'm going to add one cup of elbow macaroni noodles and I'm going to cook these according to the package instructions. Once cooked, I'm just going to remove all the macaroni. I'm now going to pressure cook my beef. I'm using my instant pot, but you can also use a regular pressure cooker if you wish. I'm going to add some oil to the base and a couple of whole spices. I have two inches of cinnamon, four cardamoms and two cloves. I have a pound of stewing beef here and I've just cut this into very small pieces. Add about one and a half to two cups of water just to cover the beef. I'm also going to add two bouillon cubes. I'm using beef but you could add chicken or veggie as well and these are 21 grams in total. I'm just going to squish these with the back of a spoon. You can also cover the beef with beef stock if you prefer. Some recipes call for half beef and half pork. You can do this and follow the same process if you wish. Put the lid on and turn the instant pot to sealing mode. Set this on pressure cook mode for 20 minutes. Once done, allow the steam to escape and allow this mixture to cool down. Everything is ready to come together now. In my saute pan, I'm adding a half cup of butter. Once the butter melts down, I'm going to add one cup of finely diced onion. There is nothing better than the smell of onion sauteing in butter. Allow these onions to sweat in this butter. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of green chilies. I'm using the large green chilies and they're not too spicy. If you're using smaller chilies, you can use a bit less. And if you like, you can omit the green chilies altogether. I'm going to add two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste and I'm going to allow it to saute in the butter. Add one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, and a half teaspoon of chili powder. I'm going to mix this in and add one cup of diced tomatoes. I'm now going to put a lid on this and I'm going to allow the tomatoes to get nice and soft as it cooks down. This will take about five minutes. Once soft, it's easy to just squish the tomatoes down with the back of a spoon. I'm just going to put the lid on and cook this for a few more minutes. I'm going to squish the tomatoes down again. It's 
now time to add the beef. I'm going to fish out all of the beef pieces first and I'm just going to remove any of the whole spices as I see them as it's really not appetizing to chew into one of them in the stew. Mix the beef in with everything else. Next, I'm going to strain the rest of the stock in, discarding any of the whole spices. Now, I'm just going to mix everything well together and I'm going to allow this to come to the boil. Add salt to taste. I'm going to add in the half-cooked potatoes so they can finish cooking in this delicious liquid. Once the potatoes have had a chance to cook, I'm just going to add a cup of peas. These are frozen and they won't take too much time to cook. I'm also going to add in one cup of diced carrots. I want the carrots to cook just a little bit, but I still want them to maintain their crunch. I'm going to cover this and I'm going to allow this to come to a boil for a few minutes. Everything is looking really good, so it's time now to add the cooked macaroni. Mix this in and I'm going to cover it and just allow it to cook for just one final minute or so. And this is ready to serve. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings and Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Goan beef and macaroni stew. It's truly such a simple recipe, but it is absolutely delicious. Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and make sure to ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you love these videos, do share them with your family and friends so they can enjoy them as well. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.